Hi, gang. Izzy, my two-eyed robot, now sees and moves its eyes to follow objects that it recognizes. The eyes are two webcams that are motorized independently of each other. So, like human eyes, they can both fixate on the same object. This is unlike animatronic eyes, which are usually parallel and only appear to do this. I already have another video all about the making of these eyes. In this video, I'll talk about the brains behind it that I have so far. First, here are all the physical parts. I'm trying to mimic the human brain and human eyes, so I'll compare the parts to those in a human. The main computations are done on this NVIDIA Jetson TX1 board, running Linux. This Arduino Mega 2560 controls the eye's servo motors. The Jetson and the Arduino communicate using serial over USB. I have another video talking about how to make that connection between a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino. For the eyes to see, each one has a Yoluk webcam camera. The cameras send their video over USB to the Jetson TX1. The sensor in each camera is analogous to the retina in the back of a human eyeball. Instead of USB cable, the eye sends its signals to the brain over the optic nerve. Unlike with the human brain though, I can see what the camera sees because the Jetson TX1 displays that on the monitor. Each camera has one motor for up and down and one for side to side. They're powered by this PC power supply that I modified. I have a video showing how I made that too. It seems I have a video for everything. In humans, there are muscles for moving each eye up and down, and from side to side. We also have muscles for rotating the eye in either direction, but I didn't implement those. Of course, I had the right software to make the eyes move. Warning though, all my code is very much a work in progress, as this is a never-ending project. The idea is that the Jetson sends strings over the USB serial to the Arduino. One string configures the Arduino with which pins are controlling motors. The other string tells it to move a particular motor to a specific angle. Here's the Arduino code. When it sees a command beginning with CR, meaning create, it adds a new servo motor to its list of motors, identified by some identifier called its ID. When it sees a command beginning with MA, meaning move to angle, it moves the servo of the given ID to the given angle. For the Jetson TX1 side, I wrote a little API called A Serial, short for Arduino Serial. It has functions like A Serial Open to do the setup, and A Serial Write, and a serial read for sending commands to the Arduino and for getting back confirmation. In the human brain, there are a few different places that decide how the eye should move. For example, the cerebellum, the superior colliculus. For that, I wrote an abstraction layer called MI control for controlling the eye movement. There's a function for moving the eye to a specific angle and some convenience functions like one for looking straight ahead and others. To test all that, I wrote a simple program to move the eyes around in a sequence. But, of course, human eyes see. That's similar to the sensors in my cameras. Linux has an API with drivers called Video for Linux 2, or V4L2. And luckily it works with my Yoluk webcams. Getting it to work took a lot of reading, and then writing another little API. This one called CamCap, short for Camera Capture. It has functions like CamCap Start Capturing, and CamCap Read Frame. The next thing I needed doesn't have an analog in the human brain, unless you want to start talking about consciousness. That's this monitor for seeing what the camera sees. I needed to prove to myself that the CamCap API was really capturing what the cameras were seeing. I chose the popular GTK library for that, and the Jetson board's Linux distribution came with GTK3 installed. To insulate my main code from the graphics library, I wrote another little API, this one called BRView, which is short for Brain Viewer. In there are functions like BRView, Image Create, to create an image for displaying on the monitor, and BR view image update for when the image changes. The human brains are also capable of recognizing and locating objects that they see. A heavily processed version of what the eyes see moves back along the optic nerve to various places in the brain, one of which is the visual cortex at the back of the brain. From there, there's a two-stream hypothesis from the 1990s involving a ventral stream for object recognition and a dorsal stream for location. The more recent research suggests that there may be more involved. For Izzy, I'm taking the raw images from the cameras and doing object recognition using a deep neural network. For that, I went with YOLO version 3. The deep neural network takes the raw image and outputs both the objects it recognizes and their locations, analogous to both the brain's ventral and dorsal streams. The engine for YOLO is called DarkNet. DarkNet not only processes the YOLO neural network, but it also draws a rectangle on the image and labels it. 
However, Darknet writes this resulting image to a file. I needed to communicate with Darknet for my main code, called is eyes, using Unix domain sockets for commands and getting information, and using shared memory for the images. So I had to modify Darknet to do that, both to get my commands and to send the results back. On my side, I wrote a little API called Obrec, short for Object Recognition. It has functions like Obrec Find Objects in Image, where you give it an image and it passes it on to Darknet, which responds with a list of objects in the image, along with their locations. Lastly, a human brain fixates on what it sees, making the eyes look directly at it. This fixation happens mostly in the superior colliculus, which sends signals to the eye muscles to move the eyes. In my code, that's the last step. My main code is called isEyes. In isEyes.c, you can see all my APIs being used. The RView functions for setting up the brain viewer for displaying on the monitor. CamCap functions for setting up the camera capture. OBREC functions for preparing for object recognition. Then in the main loop, he waits for an image from the camera driver, reading the frame containing the image, doing the object recognition, drawing the image on the monitor, and doing that for both eyes. Once I have an image and objects for both eyes, then I call is eyes look with the recognized objects. Is eyes look is just up above. It searches through the list of recognized objects for an object both eyes see, and that the object recognizer has the most confidence in being right. It then calls is eyes move eyes to object, which does further calculations, and then calls into the MIC API, which checks to make sure I don't exceed the maximum angles, and then finally calls into the A-Serial API to send commands to the Arduino to move the servo motors to look at the object. As I said, all this code is very much a work in progress, but because I know some of you will ask to see it, I put it all on my website. Links to the videos I mentioned and to the web page are in the video description. Meanwhile, I'll keep working on Izzy, adding more features and intelligence. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel for more videos with tips for making stuff. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. Keep on watching.